Creative Maths brings you Maths Made Really Clear with Dr Nick. Mixed Fractions and Improper Fractions with Oranges. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. In this video I'm going to explain what mixed and improper fractions are. I will show how to convert from improper to mixed and from mixed to improper. We will work through some examples and then there will be some practice exercises for you. The denominator is the number on the bottom of the fraction that tells you the size of each piece by telling you how many pieces make up one whole. The numerator is the number on the top that tells you how many pieces you have. Here is one orange. This orange has been cut into four pieces. Each piece is called a quarter or a fourth. One whole orange is made up of four quarters. If I eat one piece, we have three quarters of an orange left. Here are two oranges. And here are two oranges cut into quarters. There are eight quarters altogether. When I write the fraction as 8 over 4, the numerator 8 is greater than the denominator 4, so it is called an improper fraction. Improper fractions have a numerator greater than or equal to the denominator. Proper fractions have a numerator less than the denominator. There is nothing wrong with an improper fraction. Improper is just a word. Converting improper fractions to mixed fractions. Let's go back to our two oranges, each cut into four quarters, so that there are eight quarters. If I eat one quarter, we have seven quarters of an orange left. Eight quarters minus one quarter is seven quarters. And seven quarters is the same as one whole orange and three quarter oranges. One and three quarters is a mixed fraction. It is the same quantity but a different way of writing seven quarters. A mixed fraction includes a whole number and usually a fraction as well. The two are added together to make the complete quantity. One and three quarters is the same as one plus three quarters. Here is a picture of nine quarters of orange. Nine quarters or nine fourths is an improper fraction as nine is greater than four. How might we turn that into a mixed fraction? We could say that nine quarters is the same as four quarters plus five quarters, and we know that four quarters make up a whole orange, so we can take out one orange and say that we have one plus five quarters. But the five is still greater than the four, so we need to extract another whole orange out of the fraction. So the nine quarters is one plus four quarters plus one quarter. So that becomes one whole orange plus one whole orange plus one quarter, which is equal to two and one quarter. So the nine quarters is equal to two and one quarter. Here is a more direct way to do this. Here are 11 quarters of orange. We ask, how many lots of four can we get out of 11? And the answer is two lots of four, which makes eight, with three quarters left over. Two times four is eight, plus three makes 11. Or we say, how many 4s in 11? 4 goes into 11 two times with 3 quarters left over. Practice is really important. Make sure you pause the video and work out your answers. Convert into mixed fractions. 17 fourths, 9 sevenths, 11 fifths, 12 quarters, 5 eighths, 9 halves. Here are the answers. 17 fourths is equal to 4 and 1 fourth. 9 sevenths is equal to 1 and 2 sevenths. 11 fifths is equal to 2 and 1 fifth. 12 quarters is equal to 3. 5 eighths is equal to 5 eighths. 9 halves is equal to 4 and 1 half. I hope that helped develop your fluency and understanding. Sometimes we need to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction. This happens most often before we multiply or divide. For example, we want to give 2 and 1 quarter as an improper fraction. The fraction part tells us what denominator our fraction will have. So this will be expressed in fourths or quarters. There are two lots of four quarters. We multiply the whole number 2 by the denominator 4 to work this out. This gives us 8 quarters, plus the extra quarter which makes it equal to 9 quarters. Here is another example, 5 and 3 tenths. We will be expressing this as tenths. 5 times 10 makes 50 tenths, plus the 3 tenths equals 53 tenths. 
And here are some practice examples for turning mixed fractions into improper fractions. Do pause the video and work out your answers. Express each of these mixed fractions as improper fractions. 3 and 3 quarters, 7 and 9 tenths, 2 and 1 fifth, 1 and 3 sevenths, 2 and 5 eighths, 3 and 1 half. I hope you paused. Here are the answers. 3 and 3 quarters is equal to 15 quarters. 7 and 9 tenths is equal to 79 tenths. 2 and 1 fifth is equal to 11 fifths. 1 and 3 sevenths is equal to 10 sevenths. 2 and 5 eighths is equal to 21 eighths. 3 and a half is equal to 7 halves. This video covered mixed fractions and improper fractions. Check in the description below for links to other videos about fractions. This video was brought to you by Creative Maths. Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible.